When you think of rings on a planet, most people would immediately think of Saturn. Saturn's rings are among the wonders of the solar system. They are so prominent that back in 1610, when Galileo observed Saturn, he described it as having ears, unable to determine what they were. Yet it's not the only planet to have rings. Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune all have a faint ring system. But then there's 10199 Cheriklo, which is a centaur, a small body orbiting between Saturn and Uranus. It was once thought to be impossible for a ring system to be stable enough to orbit such a small body, yet even Cheriklo has been observed to have rings. But let's go to the other extreme. There's something out there that puts Saturn's rings to shame. When astronomers pointed their telescopes towards the star J1407, they noticed something unusual. Using the transit method, the eclipse they found showed them that the companion to that star, named J1407b, had a very extreme ring system attached. It had been nicknamed Saturn on steroids, Super Saturn, and the true Lord of the Rings because of its massive ring system. While most people think it's a large gas giant, it might instead be a brown dwarf, a failed star, as its mass is between 13 and 26 Jupiter masses. The rings also have a radius of 90 million kilometers. That's 640 times bigger than Saturn's, and just over half the distance between Earth and the Sun. The entire mass of the ring system roughly equals the mass of the entire Earth. However, it looks like this wondrous system has a limited lifespan. The star system is very young, in terms of star life cycle, with the system's age at approximately 16 million years, and the sheer mass of the rings, they seem to point to the unfortunate fact that the rings might just be a proto-exo satellite disk. Which means it is still in the process of forming satellites and exomoons, and will disappear in time. But you can't deny the beauty of this system. We must be fortunate that we were able to witness it during this time. Hopefully, many more worlds like this are discovered with more permanent features. Thank you very much for watching. I plan on talking a lot more about subjects on this amazing universe we are all a part of. If you'd like to, please subscribe and comment down below what you'd like me to talk about next, and I'll see you in my next video.